Hey everybody, I'm here today to tell you that smart entrepreneurs take calculated risks. Now, many people think that entrepreneurs take risks. If you want to start your own business, you have to take a risk. And that is partially true because you do have to take a risk because it is, because it is a very unsecure route. However, you should take a calculated risk. Many people have taken this phrase of entrepreneurs take risks. You have to be a risk taker. And they have abused it, meaning they have made some pretty stupid decisions as opposed to smart decisions because they think that they have to take these risks. But in reality, they're not taking random risks. Smart entrepreneurs will take very calculated, educated risks, meaning they will take a risk that has an 80% chance of succeeding. It's still a risk, but they know that because of their work ethic and their great idea or their great product or their great brand or the amount of time that they've invested into the project, whatever the case is, they've limited the risk down to about 20%, meaning they have like an 80% chance of succeeding. So they take calculated risks. For for instance, someone that is 40 years old with a family that has this good idea for a product and decides they're just going to quit their job to pursue their dream of inventing this product. They're just going to quit their job and let's say their spouse doesn't work and they are the only for form of income. This person that has this idea for the product is the only form of income, the only source of income. That's not a calculated risk. That's not, that's a pretty stupid decision, I'm sorry. That wouldn't be a smart decision. A calculated risk in a situation like that for that person would be to work at their full-time job and grind it out every single night, developing this product, building this product, making the product, starting to make some sales, building the brand behind the product until they have about an 80% chance of succeeding, then they could quit their full-time job and pursue their dream full-time. Now, guess what? Here's the thing, in order for your risk to take a positive form of this calculated risk uh, equation, you need to work hard, meaning in the harder that you work, generally speaking, the more that you limit the risk, the more that the risk becomes calculated as opposed to stupid. So the harder that you work, the higher the chance of your success is, therefore the lower the risk is. So it's that simple. At the end of the day, this is what it comes down to. If you want to take a calculated risk and you want to limit the chance of failure as much as possible, to become as, as small of a chance of failure as possible, what you need to do is you need to work hard. The harder that you work, the more that you can limit that risk. And if you want to be a smart entrepreneur, if you want to have a good chance of succeeding, that's what you need to do. In the world of entrepreneurs, building brands, building businesses, making products, solving problems. In the world of this, of all of the stuff that I'm speaking of, it's essentially a competition and the hardest working people will win. Meaning the hardest working people will succeed at business because they are going to limit their risk as much as possible while maximizing their chance of profit and reward as much as possible. Maximizing their chance of success as much as possible. So that's that. at the end of the day, I'm not saying don't take a risk. If you're an entrepreneur, if you want to get into being an entrepreneur, if you want to get into running your own business, working for yourself, you need to take a risk. But make sure that that risk is as calculated and educated as possible. Meaning make sure that you limit your chance of failure as much as possible. And in order to do that, when you have your idea, when you have your brand idea or your business idea or your product idea or an idea that you're going to use to make money, Okay, to add value. When you have that idea, work as hard as you can to make it succeed. And when you do that, your risk becomes, your risk goes from being a little bit stupid to being very, very smart. From being uncalculated to being super educated and super calculated. So that's what you need to do. When you have your idea set out, when you have your, 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 your basically your format, your basic format for what you wanna do, work as hard as you can, as hard as you possibly can. Okay, and you will basically maximize your chance of success and very, very limit your chance of failure, therefore turning it into a calculated risk. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.